New developments in the Idaho killings have surfaced, allegedly tying Brian Koberger to the murders. NBC News reports that male DNA left on a knife sheath at the scene was used to link the doctoral student in Washington State with the slayings of four University of Idaho students in November, according to a probable cause affidavit unsealed January 5th. NBC News says the affidavit also notes that video surveillance tied the Hyundai Elantra driven by Brian to the case, as well as his cell phone placing him near the home where the victims were killed at least 12 times between June and the night of the murders. E! News has reached out to Brian's attorney for comment on the affidavit, but has yet to hear back. Koberger was recently ordered held without bail at his first court appearance in Ohio following his arrest December 29th at his family's home in northeastern Pennsylvania. He faces four counts of first-degree murder and burglary after allegedly breaking into the student's rental house with the intent to commit a felony, per NBC News. Moscow, Idaho police and the local prosecutor held a press conference a day after he was taken into custody. Last night, in conjunction with the Pennsylvania State Police, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Detectives arrested 28-year-old Brian Christopher Kohlberger in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania, on a warrant for murder of Ethan, Zena, Madison, and Kaylee. You all now know the name of the person who has been charged with these offenses. Report anything you know about him to healthy investigators and eventually our office and the court system understand fully everything there is to know about not only the individual, but what happened and why. On December 31st, per NBC News, Brian's counsel stated that the 28-year-old is, quote, eager to be exonerated, noting that his client is really shocked by his arrest. No additional information regarding Brian's connection to the four students has been released at this time.